Today's video is all about future proofing and as you're probably aware I am making a series of videos at the moment all about home chargers and one thing that really shocks me is the total lack of insight by some manufacturers to ensure they have a future proofed unit and I wanted to talk to you today why picking the right unit from day one is really important to ensure that you don't rip out a perfectly working unit in a couple of years. Stick around to the end of the video and there's an opportunity to win a £20 Amazon voucher thanks to Warbox and their Pulsar Plus model. Now there's a couple of reasons why you may want your home charger to grow with you and your drive. The first thing that comes to mind is software and having a unit like the Warbox Pulsar Plus means that you're always getting the latest firmware. Having the latest firmware means that it will always talk to the latest and newest electric cars as and when they become available on the market because protocols on cars can change very very slightly and cause communication problems with chargers but having a firmware updated system like this means that it will always work with the latest cars and because this Warbox Pulsar Plus has a Raspberry Pi computer built into it, which is a powerful microcomputer. It means not only can you have the latest software and firmware updates, but it means the list of features and stuff that you can make the software do are almost endless because half of them just haven't been thought of yet. A few things the Raspberry Pi could do but doesn't do yet is we could have this light completely change color depending on how dirty or clean the national grid is. So if we're burning lots of coal, we can have it uh, flash a certain color of red. And if it's really green with wind energy and solar, we could have it flash a different shade of green. Now it doesn't do any of these features yet, but because of this Raspberry Pi smart computer, the list of what the developers could do to this machine are almost endless. And I'm really excited to see what partnerships Warbox come up with for the Pulsar Plus. However, one of my favorite parts about the Pulsar Plus is the engineers ensured it will always fit your drive. And what I mean by that is that they ensured it was future proof. So right down from the hardware, having this powerful Raspberry Pi, right down to having pen fault detection. Now, because the Pulsar Plus Warbox has pen fault built directly into the unit, this means that your engineer won't have to buy additional earth equipment to make it safe for your install, or drill into your driveway or dig up your garden to install earthing rods. The Warbox engineers didn't stop there with the Pulsar Plus. They wanted to ensure they really made it future proof, which is why the Pulsar Plus is solar ready. Now the solar option isn't yet available, but as we spoke before about the upgradable software of this unit, it will be updated over the air. And I've been assured by Warbox that this is coming really, really soon. You will have to buy the additional power boost option which is this little meter that gets installed right in here if you purchase the power boost additional accessory at the same time as your pulsar plus your engineer will put the meter just after your electricity meter because it keeps an eye on the entire house supply now it's very important that it's installed directly after the meter before any splits in your tails which means before it goes to the ev charger and your house so th this will be keeping an eye on the entire connection of the house so not just the house but also the ev charger because when ev charge points are installed quite commonly here in the uk the engineer will split the tails like this into what we call henley blocks one will go to your ev charger and one will go to your house this needs to go directly before both of them because it's going to keep an eye on everything that the house is doing. Now there's a couple of things that this can do because of the way that's installed. Now because this is actually a meter it can actually be used to verify the meter readings of your electricity company's installed meter. So some people like to verify meter readings this is one way that you could do it to verify meter readings and the way it will talk to the Pulsar Plus and the Charger family of Warbox is using these communication pins at the bottom. These communication pins will be connected with a communication cable very similar to this one here and they'll be plugged straight into here and that will be then connected to your Pulsar Plus. So using those communication pins we ha now have communication for this meter to be work with the Warbox family app and the Pulsar Plus to do all its really smart uses. Now one of the most important jobs it does is fuse protection and that's important for a couple of reasons. Now firstly I'm quite lucky I am on a 100 amp fuse here and I'm very very unlikely to blow that fuse but some homes in England may have a 60 amp or an 80 amp fuse, lots of electrical accessories in the house and could blow their main fuse. Well using the power boost option that's with the Pulsar Plus as an optional accessory this meter with the Pulsar Plus software 
can ensure that you don't go over your fuse limit. And these fuses can be extremely costly and also inconvenient to have replaced and repaired if you do blow it. And some D DNOs may even insist that you have something to make sure you never go over your main amp fuse. This also gets even more important as we look towards future where people will have multiple EV chargers. Using the power boost option, it means that you will not go over this main amp fuse, which could save you a lot of hassle, a lot of money, but it also means that you've got all one solution with the power boost option working with the Warbox family. Now we did mention solar and the power boost can keep an eye on your entire house supply. And what we can do in the Pulsar Plus app or in the Warbox app is tell it that we only want to charge with PV, only with solar energy. And it will keep an eye on what the house is using and what you're producing in solar and ensure that you can just charge your car with PV. And if the house supply starts using more, then it will drop off the charge and basically always adjust so you're always trying to charge with PV in the car. Now this is extremely clever because it means if you bought one of these just for fuse protection and got solar in the future, you're having to have an engineer back out to fit additional CT clamps, additional communication wiring to make this work. This one meter will do it all with the Pulsar Plus, which is just really clever. But what it also means is if you have additional PV, additional battery storage, you don't have to have additional clamps fitted all over the house you just put charge with pv and this one meter can do it all without any additional wiring which just really shows that the warbox team really thought about the pulsar plus and the power boost accessory option when they invented all these little additional accessories it's really clever logical thinking now it says without saying we all have more than one car in our household sometimes even more than two. So we're going to need more than one charger. And this is the most important part about future-proofing your install. The Pulsar Plus and the Warbox units range all talk to each other to allow dynamic load balancing. Now this Pulsar Plus can talk to another Pulsar Plus and also the Power Boost additional unit we spoke about before to ensure that you don't go over a fuse limit and you can plug all your electric cars in at the same time without any worry of burning out your fuse or overloading the grid. Do you want to win that £20 Amazon voucher? Well if you do there's a link down below in my description and on the top of my comments to the Warbox's website. There is a picture of the Pulsar Plus in the second image with an electric vehicle. Just tell me which electric vehicle it is. Leave it below down in the comments and as an added bonus, you don't have to, but if you have an idea that you program into this Raspberry Pi computer to make it fit your life, fit your drive better, tell me what it is and I'll have a look at all of them and ensure that I have the engineers from Warbox have a look at the best ones and hopefully they'll develop one of the ones that's suggested by one of my viewers. Thank you very much for watching this week's video and I'll see you again next week.